Alrighty, so um, today I wanted to introduce the practice of just noting, just noting. This is a technique that I stumbled upon, I guess you could say, uh, last year. And it's really in part inspired by the binary noting technique where we're noting one of two things. Uh, at some point it occurred to me, well, you could just note one thing uh, and we could call that just noting. Or you could think of it as like a unitary type of noting where we're just focused on a single note. And um, the first the first variation of this technique that I um, practiced with folks is a technique that we're going to do today called just noting, just sitting. And I want to say a little bit about this practice, just noting, just sitting, um, because it's, it's largely inspired by my experience of working in two different Buddhist traditions. On, on the one hand, the Zen tradition, uh, where the phrase just sitting comes from, uh, the Japanese um, word is shikantaza. Um, one of my uh, students earlier this week, who's uh, Chinese native, she said in, China, in Chinese, um, uh, it's translated as just mind sitting, just mind sitting. So that was very interesting. Um, so we have this sort of East Asian practice of just sitting. And then we have the Vipassana technique uh, or approach, which gave rise to the noting technique, you know, of using the analytical mind, using the conceptual mind as an aid in the practice. And then of course we're doing it out loud. That's what, what makes this unique, the social aspect. Um, the other thing I wanted to mention in terms of the origin of this technique or, or the way that this technique kind of plays out, uh, and, and, and for me, it, part of what makes it work is that we're doing this spontaneously. So when we're doing the practice, when we're just noting, just sitting, we are, are doing so spontaneously. So if I were doing this practice by myself, it would look something like this. Just sitting. Just sitting. Just sitting. Just sitting. So here I am just noting, just sitting, but I'm doing it as I feel moved. And this is part of what makes this uh, practice sort of also tied to the Zen tradition with its strong emphasis on spontaneity of experience. You know, when we feel moved, we have to ask the question, well, when do we feel moved to note just sitting? And what is just sitting? And you know, what does it mean to just sit? Um, I don't want to <laughs> give any spoilers on that <laughs> because I think it's more interesting to do the practice and find out what, we've, what we discover and then talk about it. Um, but I'd just say um, that you know, for me, this, this is a really interesting technique for bridging together these two approaches, the Zen approach and the Vipassana approach. And then the last thing I want to say about this just noting technique is that they're really, even though we're only using one note, or in some cases just one word, um, and we're saying that out loud, and that's it, that's all, the, that's all that's involved in the form of the practice. There are at least in my experience two different ways to relate to that single note. One is relating to it as an intention or as an aspiration, you know, just sitting. It's like a rem reminder or, or, or as, as, uh, as um, the student I mentioned earlier translated shikantaza just mind sitting. So just minding sitting. It's like the intention is to come back into mind just sitting. The other way that we can relate to this at times is as, a, as the fruit of the practice, as a realization of just sitting. And I'd say both of these are possible and both of these are valid ways of orienting to the notes. We can be sometimes intending to just sit to remember to come back and just sit, to mind just sitting. 
And at other times we are experiencing just sitting and we're expressing just sitting. And, and this is, I think, a valid way to, to practice because as the Zen teacher Ross Boletter put it in his book, Dongshan's Five Ranks, he said, the, the essential cannot be expressed in words, rather it is expressed as words. So it is totally valid in my experience, from my point of view, in a Zen style practice to use words to remind ourselves what we're doing, but also to express the realization of just sitting. 